Here we are going to discuss different molecular speeds for gas molecules. We know that the gas molecules are in random Brownian motion. So, for various kind of mathematical analysis, some standard different molecular speeds are defined. And there are vast range of speeds with which gas molecules move. Here we are going to discuss about some specific speeds. The first one is average velocity of gas molecules. It is the velocity with which gas molecules are moving on an average. Second we use which is quite important which is used for various analysis of energy and pressure. This is root mean square velocity of gas molecules. Root mean square is abbreviated as RMS velocity of gas molecules. We'll discuss all these one by one in detail. The third one in sequence is mean speed of gas molecules. Mean speed is just the magnitude a magnitude of average or average magnitude of a speed of gas molecules with which the molecules move between successive collisions that is considered as mean speed of gas molecules. And the last important speed which is used for analysis is most probable speed of gas molecules. After this section we will study about an article where we will see that different molecules in a gas move at different speeds. So, the speed with which maximum number of molecules would be moving or the probability of a particular speed carried by a particular molecule is maximum is termed as most probable speed of gas molecules. Let us discuss these four analytical molecular speeds one by one. To analyze average velocity of a gas molecules, let us consider a container in which various gas molecules are moving randomly in different directions like this. I am just drawing random direction in which the gas molecules can move and say they are having their independent speeds v1 with a particular direction its velocity vector is v1 another is with the vector v2, v3 and so on. Now, in this situation we can simply state the average velocity of a gas molecules can be written as v average is equals to v1 vector plus v2 vector plus up to vn vector if in total there are n molecules then this divided by n that will be regarded as the average velocity. And we know well that as the motion is totally random, then corresponding to each molecule there will be some other molecule which would be moving with the opposite direction with the same speed, in opposite direction with the same speed. So, in all we can say the random summation of all the vectors which are which are having their directions distributed randomly throughout the container. Its summation can be taken as zero because corresponding to each motion there would be some opposite motion. This can be found in this random motion of particles. So, we always assume that average velocity of gas molecules in a container is equal to zero. Next is root mean square velocity of gas molecules. This root mean square means square root of mean of squares of all the velocities. To calculate this RMS velocity of gas molecules, first we calculate mean square velocity that is the mean of squares. We talk about mean square velocities. For this we first square all the velocities and we take the mean like square of velocity of first molecule 
plus the square of velocity of second molecule and so on up to the velocity of nth molecules. And if we divide it by the total number of molecules, this is the mean square velocity. And this RMS velocity is defined as V RMS is equals to root of this mean of squares. That is root of V1 square plus V2 square up to Vn square divided by n. Basically, its mathematical expression is calculated by Maxwellian velocity distribution function, which will study in next article. But this is the analytical form by which you can understand how this RMS velocity is calculated. And this velocity is quite important to use mathematically in calculation of energy of a gas or pressure exerted by a gas and using Maxwell's velocity distribution function. Its expression is the expression which we get by using this expression. Maxwellian velocity distribution function is it is given as root of three R T by m, where m is the molar mass of the gas. And T is the absolute temperature. It is quite important to keep in mind that RMS velocity is directly proportional to square root of absolute temperature. And you can also write this V RMS is used in energy and pressure calculation. Of a gas, we can state that for calculation of total energy of a gas, which is generally considered as total kinetic energy of all the gas molecules, if we just write down total energy of a gas as half m v r m s square, you can see this will give us m is the total mass of gas and v r m s is velocity of one gas molecule. So here we can write if we substitute v r m s as v one square plus v two square plus v n square, you can see this will transform into half m when we substitute this v r m s here. Total mass upon number of molecules will give us the mass of one molecule multiplied by v one square plus v two square plus up to v n square. You can see that just by using this v r m s square. In calculation of total energy of gas, it automatically transforms into the total kinetic energy of all the gas molecules. The next speed of gas molecules is mean speed of gas molecules. Mean speed, or we can also call it average speed, can be directly calculated by calculating the average of magnitude of all velocities. That will be given as v one magnitude plus v two magnitude plus up to v n magnitude divided by n. Obviously, as we are taking the average of magnitudes, it can never be zero. Like the very first speed we have seen, that was the average velocity. So velocity include the direction also. That's why when we calculated the average of all velocities, it was zero because due to directions, all opposite directions cancelled each other. In this situation, we are just calculating the average of magnitudes. That is the mean speed, and its final expression can be obtained again by Maxwellian velocity distribution. So we can say. By Maxwell's velocity distribution function, its expression is this mean speed is given in expressional form as root of eight R T by pi m. The derivation of this result is out of the scope of. This article. So right now you just need to keep this result in your mind, as well as the way 
how it is calculated if uh, speed of an individual molecule is given to us. This mean speed is used to calculate the mean free path that we have studied, which is the distance traveled by the particle, mean distance traveled by the particle between two successive collisions denoted by lambda m, which can be given as v mean multiplied by the relaxation time, that is the time between two successive collisions. So, mean speed is quite useful in calculation of mean free path for a given gas. The last speed which we need to study is the most probable speed of gas molecules. About most probable speed which can be by its name which can be understood as the probability, a particular speed for which the probability for a gas molecule to have as maximum is called most probable speed. Or in another way we can write, this is the speed which is common in maximum number of molecules of a gas. And it is given as Again, we won't get into the derivation of the most probable speed for a gas molecules. You just need to keep the result in your mind. It is root of 2RT by M. This is the most probable speed which we use. And we can also analyze about the important speed. We can see this most probable speed is the least and mean speed is more than this most probable speed and RMS speed is further more than the mean speed. This you need to keep in mind. In the very next article, we'll study about the distribution of molecular speed, the basic phenomena related to the molecular speed distribution, that is Maxwellian distribution curve, with which you'll be clear with how the speed of gas molecules are distributed among all the molecules. Again, we'll not get into the depth of uh, that uh, Maxwellian function as it is out of the scope of these lectures.